Well, everyone, today is one of those days where we get some closure, okay? So unlike the my third grade hamster that died and I don't know where it went off to and where it ran, it just basically ran away from home. I didn't get closure in that situation, but I have closure now. So if you guys remember not too long ago, actually it was quite a bit of time ago, it was like <laughs> two years ago, random person who was actually a genius and I need to interview the guy, they had an iPhone 6S, which is this phone right here, and they found out... <laughs> And they found out that basically Apple was slowing down their older iPhones, specifically the 6S at the time, because when they went ahead and replaced the battery, they ran a benchmark before and after and found after they replaced the battery, the score actually went up. And not to do my own horn, but I pretty much saw that coming. I mean, I made a video like literally three months before this happening saying that it was happening because, I, you know, I just felt like it was and I really had no proof. I just kind of felt like it was and it ended up being true. But today and actually yesterday, Apple, you know, they were going through this long lawsuit of how they were basically going to repay what was going on and whether they lost a lawsuit or won the lawsuit something was going to happen and apparently a majority i guess won the lawsuit so that means apple will actually have to pay people back who own the specific iphones that they have so if you have an iphone between the 6 and up to the 7 and 7 plus so that's including the iphone 6s the iphone 6 the iphone sc the iPhone 6 Plus with that. The 6S Plus, the 7s, and the 7 Plus is right here. If you own any of those phones, you're basically entitled to $25 per device that you own, up to a maximum of $500 million. <laughs> Just kidding, but that's partially true. So the $500 million, I'm assuming, is the market cap or the cap that Apple is going to go ahead and push out. So that means that they will be able to do an X amount of devices. So that means they can do 2 million devices. So that means they can do whatever, 25 million devices, if they're doing 25 each or 20 million devices. I'm not really too sure, I'm not really good with math. Okay, so I had to bust out the calculator and it's, it is 20 million, so I was kind of right. So Apple will basically give 20 million people or 20 million devices a $25 return value on, the, on that device. Now, I'm not really too sure what the process is. There's really no process yet. But if you own one of those iPhones in that category, like I've stated here, you're basically entitled to $25 per device, up to 20 million devices total, not like 20 million devices for you, but 20 million devices for everybody. So that means, you know, whenever it comes out, I'm sure it's going to be some way that you have to enter your serial number and then you'll get that money back. Now, I'm sure you're going to ask me how many iPhones am I going to do? I'm not going to do any. I wasn't really personally affected by this and you know, I'm such a good person that I have to give back to you guys. So consider this another giveaway. If you guys wanna take these serial numbers on these and claim them, you can, I don't really care. But I still think that's pretty crazy that Apple's doing this. I mean, that's a $500 million settlement that they have to do all because of a phone that, you know, honestly, in a way they were kind of trying to do the right thing with the iPhone 6S. They were slowing it down because a lot of people were having battery issues and random reboots and all that stuff based off the battery. In order for them to combat that, they actually had to go and slow down the phones in order for the battery not to, I don't really even understand the process, but they went ahead and did what they did. And I guess they have to pay the price for it. And if you think about it, they even made battery replacements cheaper at the time for only $29, which was a pretty big deal at the time. But looking back, it was a complete scam because they were like ripping us off and they were still making money by ripping us off because we went to replace the battery. So either or, it was a weird little era of time. And I guess now it came back to bite them and they actually have to owe $500 million to basically the people who were affected by this ultimately. So if any news comes out about this, I'll go ahead and like update you guys on Twitter or something. I'll probably make a tweet about it. But that's really pretty much it. You know, if you have an older iPhone, make sure you take advantage of it. You're pretty much entitled to it in a way. And whenever that update comes out where you input your serial number or whatever, I'll go ahead and make an updated video on that. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hope I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.